basically, this is gold rush swimming. My work, I do like out of the ordinary. Like, you wouldn't go outside and see somebody rocking one of these. No, you would not. Okay. Recently, I was watching the Jennifer Lopez fashion show. Mm -hmm. Um, and like, like I got inspired by this one. I kind of copied it. Don't tell me this one. Okay, so I'm Zakir here, here, and this is my level, which is Bella Sheets. And basically, she's wearing some leggings, like my item. And she has purple shoes on, which is one I represent it. And then her sweatshirt has her logo on it, basically, because that's the logo name. So I wanted to do like a pop cream shirt thing. It didn't, it didn't look right. So I turned it into a um, sequence. The designers slash models have worked very hard, I want you to know. For 12 weeks, they've worked on their artwork. I told them we're done here. I want everybody to take a look at their artwork. And, uh, and then also, and then we went into working on the sweatshirts, which they created the graphic design. They came up with their own brand, their own logo. And then I had a graphic artist come in to help them implement what their uh, designs were. Just so they could see just how beautiful their actual, because most of these girls are brand new artists. You know, they might have had art class in school. And some of them, I've noticed that there were two or three of them who really have a nice hand. Okay, and they should definitely continue this. Okay? So, but for the first, this is the first time of them doing fashion, okay? So, um, they learned about what it is to be a fashion designer. You come up with the name of your company, who it is, what you represent, and you have to have an understanding of what that means. And, uh, and then you can create a logo. So, we talked about how Nike and like McDonald's and Starbucks, everybody has a logo. So, that's the thing now, branding. And uh, so, that's what their sweatshirts represent. So, not only, and some of them are interested in uh, continuing with this fashion for uh, uh, after high school to perhaps enter into college. So in order to do that, you have to have a portfolio already, and you have to already know how to sew. And you have to be able to show the school the pieces that you've done. So not only do they want to know if you know how to sew, but they want to know how creative you are. All right, my first model is Rowan. Come on, Rowan, show them what you got on the runway here. Rowan is modeling her hoodie. Ooh. And she folds up in her skirt, nice. for jack for a skirt with metallic embroidery. <laughs> uh, and um, <laughs> yeah. I'm the back up here on four years so they can see your logo in the back. Yeah. Nice. Now go in. Tell them what does that stand for? Um so it says M H M D M D H or M D M H D. Because I like the design of the belt and heart. I think it's cool. Okay, thank you, Bobby.
sixth grade, so she's our youngest student, but she's very talented. Simon, I live in Austin at Eagle Bay, and I guess I got invited through the email because I've taken a class at the community center. Had no idea what it was about, but loved it. We think the girls were great. We think what they did was great, and I'm going to try and, uh, you know, email Austin to keep the program going. 